In this episode of an in-depth look, a review of XBMC, or as some people know it, Xbox Media Center, and a look at the newcomer to the party, Boxy, in part three of building the ultimate home theater system. Part of building the ultimate home theater system, of course, would be the playback of all your content. And as things go more digital and we have home movies that uh, come on tapes or discs that you load via USB, a lot of camcorders have hard drives now that you can save off to your computer, digital cameras, music, all those kinds of things. Uh, a, big, a big issue is getting all that content into your theater system. Now, you might want to take things up a notch, and one of the ways to do this would be with XBMC or Boxy. Either one of these two products offer a ton of features, and uh, uh, in the case of uh, XBMC, can run on Linux, Mac, or Windows, or the Apple TV, or if you don't need um, 1080p, 1080i playback, an old hacked Xbox, which you can pick up for, for dirt cheap. Uh, kind of the history and the background of XBMC is that it is uh, it's an open source GNU project. It originally did start out for the Xbox, and then as the Xbox kind of aged, they came out with uh, with an initiative to get it under running under Linux, Windows, and Mac OS X. Now they've been developing it for a couple of years now, and they've really gotten the product somewhere where it's it's quite nice and usable. It has lots of features, and uh, and also can play back any codec. It has support for any codec that you have on your computer. So if you have MKVs or XVIDs, or if you have um, even QuickTime or or AUG files, as long as your computer system that you're running XBMC on has the codec, you're fine. You're set. So that's also a very nice feature. It also has a Python-based plugin system. So there's lots of plugins coming out for XBMC that really extend the functionality. Things like uh, like, like the weather. Um, so you can you can check your weather in your current location right on your TV. That's nice in the morning as you're getting ready. They have YouTube. Maybe you want to watch shows like this in your media center. They you have, they have plugins out there for YouTube. There's Netflix plugins to check your queue. There's movie trailer plugins. It's on and on and on. Now, a lot of them don't come built in. I think the weather one does and maybe the YouTube one. But you can find them and they're, you pretty much drop them in a directory and they work. Um, so XBMC is very nice. It's got lots of different themes and skins for it too. So you can get you can get looking very nice. There's some very 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 nice uh, visual themes for XBMC. And if you want to find some of those, I recommend Lifehacker.com, where they've done kind of a highlight on a lot of the features. If you are on a Mac, you probably want to check out Plex, which is being it's it's based on XBMC. It it pretty much follows the code base exactly, but they're tweaking it a lot to work on Apple Macintoshes, things like iTunes integration and, and using the Mac little remote thing and stuff like that. So Plex uh, on the Mac. But you can also run vanilla XBMC as well, and it, and it works great. Uh, that's XBMC. Now, Boxy. Boxy, kind of like Plex, is based on the XBMC code base, um, but it's, it's, they're kind of taking a different approach. A startup company actually formed, and they're, they've taken the code base, and they're adding and building on top of that. First of all, they have a gorgeous thing. Uh, absolutely gorgeous, and you you need full 3D acceleration for this sucker to work. It uh, it has transparency. It it has all those really nice things um, that really make on 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 a nice big flat screen. Oh, gorgeous! Um, both XBMC and Boxy have support for metadata databases of your video content. So if you have a lot of movies and TV shows, they can search these videos and try to pair them up with matching names on IMDb or TVDB.com and then they can pull in things like um, actors information, directors, genre, it's a year produced, etc. and then you can search and filter your content on that. It's nice if you have a large collection of backed up DVDs or or something like that. Um, both Boxy and XBMC, because they're from the same code base, are based around like a dashboard type interface, something you might be used to on the Xbox. You have a main landing page, and then you launch sub-applications from there, like a video playing application or picture viewing or music and things like that. Um, and, and, and then that's where the plugins come in. You can add on from there and, and stuff like that. The, the nice thing about the metadatabase aspect of it is if you use it to search out your content when you launch into one of those sub applications like the music program or something like that all of your album art is displayed up on the screen for you so you can visually browse through your music which is nice when you're trying to build a playlist or something like that or you have guests over and they're using your home theater system they both also support network playback in my case I pointed uh, XBMC to a network share and then in there I was able to say okay here's my video share on my Samba server 
uh, here's the content type. In my case, it was TVs or movies. And then I said, go ahead and run an automated scan. At that point, uh, it runs and scans through the directory structure, gets the file names, and goes out to the different databases and tries to find all that information. I found XBMC to be very accurate, uh, both with TV and movies. It was able to get individual episode details for TV shows. And, uh, of course, nearly all my movies are recognized. When it failed to recognize one of my movies... It was actually more due to like my spelling, or maybe if I if I spelled something the thirteenth ghost and I wrote it out all the way, but the actual movie spelling on IMDb is the number thirteen ghost, then it would have troubles finding that. But then it brings up a window and you can you can retype out the name and they'll go out and search based on that. So that's really nice, especially when you have a large collection. The automated scan is quite great. Uh, Boxy takes it even a level a little a little step further. It completely automates the scan once you say. Here's some video content. Boxy, just in the background, without even really telling you it's doing it, scans that content and goes out and matches it. Now, the downside to this is uh, I found Boxy not to be as accurate, at least in terms of movies. It paired a lot of my movies, in my movie selection, it paired a lot of my TV shows as individual movies. So it got confused. I was looking at my, my movies list and it had The Adventures of Superman in there and it had a bunch of other TV shows listed in as movies. And that didn't work so well. And that, so that's kind of a nice feature of XBMC is because it's a little more manual and you set the content type, it's also a little bit accurate. Now, in terms of searching out movie database information, uh, Boxy really didn't have any problem finding my movies. It went through, and even the ones where XBMC had some issue with spelling, Boxy didn't really have those problems. The big differentiator between XBMC and Boxy is Boxy really takes things a step further and incorporates social aspects to your media playback. Now, what does that mean? Well, the social aspects are like uh, you can have friends in Boxy and you can find out what they're watching and what they recommend. And so if, you, uh, if you're watching uh, Terminator, the Sarah Connor Chronicles, and your buddy, he's watching Supernatural, well, then you can kind of see wh where each other, how you guys recommend those shows. And maybe if he's watching that, you want to go check it out. And the nice thing about that is if your buddy is checking out a show that you really want to see, Boxy has integrated Hulu support. So you can go to Hulu inside Boxy, all integrated in there, and stream current and past TV episodes. I think it's I think Hulu's U.S. only, so that is a limitation. But that is such a nice feature. It also has built-in support for YouTube playback, so you can search um, by YouTube username. So I was able to search for Jupiter Broadcasting, and I was able to go into Jupiter Broadcasting and see all of the videos that we have in there and play them back. Now, of course, the video quality isn't super great but if you're sitting maybe five ten feet away from your tv it's actually it's passable so that's nice um xbmc also has support for youtube but through a plugin that doesn't come by default or at least not it's not turned on by default whereas boxy has that on so the killer feature i have to say for boxy is hulu support that is that is really something um some limitations of both these products is uh well they both don't support drm media they can't. There's just nothing, no way really around that. Uh, if you've bought something from the iTunes Music Store or an Amazon Unbox video, you're kind of out of luck. Boxy is only available for Ubuntu and Mac OS X and the Apple TV, whereas XBMC is available for everything. Um, so that's something else to consider. Now, that said, Boxy has stated it's one of their missions to get Boxy running on as many operating systems and platforms as possible, as well as Boxy is intending to release dedicated hardware box in 2009 for the boxy experience so that could be really interesting stuff uh you know if they got the price point right i would emphatically recommend that that seems really really neat i think i think if you have an original xbox or you have a linux box or a windows box xbmc is definitely the way to go if you have a mac or an ubuntu box or an apple tv if you can get an invite you owe it to yourself to check out boxy it's really really fantastic. I have to say I'm I, I thought I thought the social media aspect and the Hulu support would be kind of gimmicky and I was very impressed. On top of that it has built in support for many other online media sources like Flickr, uh, Comedy Central streaming videos, CBS, CNN. I mean it's really impressive. If you can get your hands on an invite and you run Ubuntu or Mac OS 10, do yourself a favor and check out Boxy. Otherwise, XBMC is definitely great, and there's some gorgeous themes you can find, like I said, over at Lifehacker. They've, they've spotlighted a few articles. Both of these products definitely go a huge way to building your ultimate home theater system. <laughs>